<clears throat> Hello there guys, uh, this is Ace here, and uh, I decided that today I'm going to be doing a tutorial, because I get this question asked a whole lot, and that's how I do an my animations, and so I'm going to be teaching you today how to do that. Alright. So, first, uh, I use GIMP 2.6, which is free to download. There's actually an upgraded version of it that's been out for a while, but I prefer the older version because I'm weird. <laughs> um, you're going to want, you know, something like GIMP or Photoshop because it's pretty much just the same thing, but GIMP is free, so I guess it's better. Um, so, yeah, you want to open it up and have, like, something like, you know, something small, like, you don't want anything like a thousand by a thousand, like, 75, or 750 by 750 would be, uh, good. And if you're looking for icons, it has to be 50 by 50, like, doing icons and stuff, but, um, yeah. That's for another day. For now, I'm gonna show you how I do animations. Now, first off, you don't want to draw on your background layer, because that's just kind of like your white layer. You want a new layer, which all you have to do is press the, uh, what is it, left click? I don't know, I'm using tablet pen. And you go to new layer, and you press, you want it transparent, and so you just say, okay, and it makes another layer. Now let's delete that one. All right, so let's, let's do something simple, not something incredibly intense. Uh, we're gonna make a kawaii little leaf. Yeah. Ugh, that's a big pen. Hang on, let me shrink it. There we go. Um, yeah. And normally my speed paints, I don't show off, like, my, uh, toolbar box or my layers box just because I feel it's more professional just to have the white square. And that also, I can't mess with layers for some reason when I'm recording with Bandicam, which I'm not right now, so I can play with my layers. <laughs> um... So I have to, like, make it in, like, a small circle. Um, I'm probably going to speed it up here, just so, you know, unless this takes, like, five seconds. So, uh, enjoy tasty music. <clears throat> there. There we go. Well done. Alright, so now that we have our kawaii little leaf here, the little, you know, Gotta make it, yes, yes, it's so cute, I'm sorry. Okay, now that we have our quiet little leaf here, I'm gonna show you how to make it move. Let's do something uh, just kind of simple. Oh, hang on. For now, what you wanna do here, I should probably hang on, explain that. <laughs> um, you want to press duplicate layer, and it will make a copy of your layer. And you want to do the same thing with your white background, and then move it up. So you can do that. And then what I like to do is I take the opacity up here, and I make it the white layer slightly transparent. So if I erase something here, like this, I can see the other layer before and know what I'm missing. Um, yeah, it's really handy. So we're going to zoom in, and I'm going to just kind of erase just some of that. And we're going to do that. See, it's already getting somewhere. Oh, wait, oops. <laughs> Wrong layer. <laughs> it's drawing on our white background. See, it's can make mistakes, though. Just, just... Everyone take advice from Bob Ross. And, uh, no, it's okay to make mistakes, man. It's alright. So they can always be fixed. Ugh, let me erase that. I don't like that. Okay. And so we're gonna do the same thing again. Duplicate and duplicate. Over white layer up. Change the opacity on it. Which, by the way, don't forget to change it back when you're done. Because if you do kick the layer with the opacity down, then the opacity will stay down. So, remember to do that. Uh, Alright, let's do that again. Just one more time. Like this. Wow. He, this, our kawaii leaf looks pretty checked out right now. 
<laughs> I don't know why that's so funny. <laughs> okay, let's finish this. So, we just kind of will erase the rest of that. Oh, oh, that's so cute. Oh, I'm sorry. We'll do this. And there we go. Oh, that seems very good. Alright, so, and then to make it, let's, let me show you how you preview the animation. So what you want to do, you want to go to filters, right? Right up here. You go down to, guess what? Animation. Big shock. But then you want to go down to playback. You click on it. Or tap it, depending on if you have a tablet or not. And then you wait. And it should come up here. And as you can see, oh boy. It's, it's not acting correctly because I have, uh, it's recording. Oh, wait, there it goes. And because I have the white layer, though, it's going to kind of flash. Yeah, the, the, my capture software is not the best. Because I don't have the full thing of Bandicam, which is why my videos are designed the way they are. I work around my limitations. <laughs> um, uh, but, yeah. It, it, normally, it will show you like a clear preview of the animation. But it's not all the way down yet. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna duplicate our last layer. Which is this one. We're gonna duplicate that. And that. And then we'll do the same down here. Move it on up. And duplicate. Duplicate that. And we'll duplicate our background again. And there! Check it out! And then normally, if I would hit playback, I would play the thing correctly, but once again, crappy recording software. <laughs> I need money. Alright, so, uh, as, it, as I showed you, it blinks when you have the white background, so what do we do here? Well, We've got to merge the layers down. Merge. And merge. Merge. Did it... I'm probably gonna speed this up. Did it... Did it... Beep! So now we have all of our frames. Now they're frame... animation frames. So we go here, we hit playback, we wait for it to load, and we press play. Oh there, see, now it's looking a little bit better. See? And that's how you animate in GIMP. And you could do a lot more intense things, actually, if you want. But I want to do something simple just to show you the basics on how to do it. Your skills of an animator pretty much is your limit with this. Not the programming itself. So, uh, yeah. Uh, thank you for watching, and I hope this helps. And if you really like this video, then leave a like and let me know so that maybe I'll make another tutorial sometime soon. And so you can learn how to do other cool stuff in GIMP, and maybe something else like Fire Alpaca, but I'm still learning how to use that myself, so... Don't count on Fire Opaca tutorials anytime soon. Um, thank you again, though. And, uh, hope you all have a really nice day. Bye-bye!